Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you're here with me today. I decided to do a little video where we're going to catch up on what has been going on. You're going to come along with me as I unpack a little bit and I'm also still trying to get rid of things. So if you've been watching for a while, you know that I did a organizing and getting rid of stuff video back in the spring. That was right before we moved from our place in Phoenix before we came back here to the Midwest to fix up our RV and did RV life. If you don't know how that turned out, I will link the video, you can catch up on that. But we bought a house here in the St. Louis area and now we are moving in. So I have been unpacking, organizing, all the things. And if you have moved before, which I'm guessing most of you have, it's always chaotic. And we've been in that chaotic moving energy since like the spring literally since the spring. So I'm so excited to be settled. I'm so grateful to have this house. I absolutely love this house and I will take you around and show you some parts. As you can see, it's very messy. This is very realistic. This is what is happening right now, but I'm so grateful for the stage of life. But I also want to share like some other things that I've been going through, things that have been helping me, mind stories I've been struggling with. If you are new to this channel, I usually do yoga flows or talk videos or meditations and sometimes vlogs like this, but we're always discussing what it means to live an aligning, fulfilling, and present life like I do on my podcast. So come along with me as I continue to put stuff away and I will catch you up on all the things that have been going on. So if you watch my video where I was packing and getting rid of stuff for our V trip, I'm doing the same thing now as I unpack. Like as I unpack things, I'm like, do I need this? Does it bring me joy? Like totally Marie Kondoing things. And if not, I'm getting rid of it. We have a huge pile of stuff to get rid of in the dining room and it feels so good. I feel like this is such a beautiful practice. It doesn't need to be springtime. It doesn't need to be in the season of letting go, which we are just in Scorpio season. We're still in fall where it's a great time to let things go. Anytime you feel the call to go through your stuff and purge, do it because it is so freeing and we just really realized in this season of life throughout the journey that we've been on the past six months you don't need a lot to be happy and to be fulfilled so we are just making sure we don't have any clutter any of the stuff we don't need and a lot of the stuff that i packed you know for our house down the road which i thought would have been later on but here we are i don't necessarily want anymore i've outgrown or we have things now that I never thought I would like and I now love. You just never know, but it's such a beautiful practice to tune into yourself, tune into your intuition, tune into your soul when you are going through stuff or cleaning up or organizing your things. Super well. This closet is a whole other video, a whole other time. I've just been shoving stuff in there, so let's shove that. Out. Okay, so this is one of those pieces that in the past I may not have been that excited about, but I absolutely love this hutch. It's actually from Stephen's late great-grandma, so thank you great-grandma for letting us have this. I think it's meant for like silverware and dishes, but if you know me, you know I'm a little witchy, or maybe not so much a little witchy, a lot witchy. <laughs> so I'm using this as an altar space and it's been so fun to like put on my crystals and candles and other like knickknacks that we have some are like more religious knickknacks it's really just like a hodgepodge of stuff but i plan on changing this out with the seasons updating it with the seasons and this is just going to be such a fun space so if you have something like this and you're like oh i can never use this or we don't have plates and silverware to store use it as an altar space or use it as a space to store whatever you want this has just been so fun for me to decorate and i haven't even filled up these drawers yet so that's what i'm going to do next is clean some of these out because they are super dusty and what's even better is this is right in front of the yoga space which is right behind where you are sitting so it's like we've got the good vibes from my altar into my yoga space which you will see a lot of i will be doing a lot of my yoga flows there so this just feels like a perfect use of this beautiful piece of furniture that we got for free second hand also just by the way i'm doing all this while arlo is napping if those of you listening or watching our parents you know when your child is napping it's like a ticking timer <laughs> you're like how much can i get done in this time 
I really try not to have like time scarcity around it. I really try to like let time flow, but it's hard not to let my mind creep in and be like, you only have so much time. You've got to do this, this, and this. It's not worth stressing about. I just get what I can get done. And then when he wakes up, we continue on with our day. I say that so like easily now, but if you get frustrated with naps, not working out like you thought they would. I totally, totally get you as a parent. We're still learning and growing through that one. These are two full boxes, actually busting up the seam boxes of stuff I'm getting rid of so far. Not the stuff underneath. This is another piece that we got given to us from Steven's great-grandmother. Love this dining room set. Again, not a style I think I would have chosen, but the fact that it was free, it's from a family, and it fits our needs. I just love it. So I've got clothes in here. I've got purses. I've got pillows all different kinds of things that we no longer need. edit this vlog and I realized I didn't even share some of the stuff I mentioned in the beginning like what we've been going through and how there's been a lot of ups and downs in this season. I shared a lot of this on my podcast like I've said but this has just been such a unique season of unknown and practicing patience and being flexible. You know I'm not going to go into all the things that did or did not happen but for me internally I have just been feeling so many shifts in terms of like letting old belief systems go. Like a common one that I feel like Steven and I have been in for the past year at least is like we're always trying to get to this destination, literally or figuratively. And obviously in the RV, that was the case, right? But it keeps happening now. Like we keep thinking we'll get to this place and feel a certain way. And there's always going to be more work to be done. There's always more projects we could do in the house. There's always more projects I could do for work. There's always more I feel like I could be doing in my professional and personal life or as a mom. And that is just something you have to be aware of. And that is something that's just kind of ingrained in us is to like chase more and more and more. There's always the next thing. And this is why I have this platform. This is why I have my podcast. This is why I share these things. And this is why I'm so passionate about it. Because it truly is about like those little moments. Like those little moments that just feel so good and aligned. Like when we first got into our house, like I just felt so much gratitude and excitement. I could burst. Like it just felt amazing. And I just allowed myself to feel and that feeling. And then as the days went on, I started to feel more overwhelmed because we had so much to unpack, all these projects we wanted to get done. And I just had to stop myself and remember like, I'm so grateful to be here in this moment. So apply this to whatever is happening in your life. Again, this is why I share these things because I'm sure there are some of you that may feel the same way. You're always reaching for more. You're always like, when I get to this point, I'll feel this way. I just gotta make it to you know, next year or the end of winter or whatever it may be. I just got to wait till I'm done with this job or to my vacation. Can you feel those feelings you're desiring now? Because that's why you want to get to that point. Because you feel like when you get to that point, you will feel a certain way. But can you feel that way now? Or are there just like little pockets or little moments that you can really savor? Like another example of one last night was Stephen hooked up a TV that we had downstairs. We haven't had TV this week which has actually been kind of nice, but he hooked it up and we just sat there and like savored that moment because he was kind of stressed out, trying to get all the stuff to hang the TV up. And again, we have like a million and one projects that we could be doing, but once we hooked it up, we just sat there and we just enjoyed it for a moment. And we just like allowed ourselves to be in that pure joy. 
So I hope this message helps some of you. Again, like I said, I hope that this also inspires you to maybe go through some of your stuff, to purge things, to let go of things physically or non-physical things that you need to let go of, like habits or thought patterns. Sorry, my hand. My hand is getting tired. <laughs> Should have used the tripod again. I also hope this encourages you to maybe look for some secondhand furniture, secondhand items. There are so many things we just keep purchasing new, 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 and that is just awful for the earth. So if you can get something secondhand, it just has a certain energy to it. It feels good. It's usually cheaper or free. Good for the environment. Like I said, just a win, win, win. I hope this video wasn't too random and too all over the place of just random bits of us moving in and organizing our house. But if you want to see more of the house or if you want to see certain things on this channel, make sure you let me know in the comments. I'm sending you all so much love, all the highest vibes. And of course, I will see you in the next video.